Welcome. What we're going to be looking now is uh, revision techniques because I've been getting a lot of messages about that and obviously it's something that I've worked on a lot with my class as well. Now revising is something that many people do differently but uh, what I'm going to show you here is uh, a multi-pronged approach if you will uh, hopefully to increase your chances of remembering what it is you're trying to revise. Um, if you have your own technique already uh, and it involves simply reading and reading and reading over and over and over again um, statistically the chances of you remembering that stuff within two weeks is around 5% apparently. Uh, other research shows that if you make notes on what you've read your statistic chance of remembering that is around 15% within two weeks. So obviously every person is going to be slightly different. Some people just have better memory, some people have worse, some people try and train their memories etc which does make a difference. But on average just reading over your notes 5% chance, rewriting your notes 15% chance. So we're going to look at uh, a multi-layered approach now. So let's take for example first of all the first thing you have to have obviously is something to revise and by a revise I mean you've gone over it once and you're going over it again. If you are simply looking at something for the first time then obviously that's uh, that's another kettle of fish altogether. You really have to try and understand that. So you read notes you've made in class or from a textbook and then you go over them. It seems quite easy. If you understood everything within 15 minutes then you can move on. If you don't understand anything within 15 minutes or you have to go and research something then you go and start that 15 minutes again. But it's very important that you cap this. All the timings here are very important because they actually keep it structured, specific and focused focused rather than just uh, drifting as I'm sure many of you have done over times at your desk and just daydreaming and uh, thinking that you're progressing when you're actually not. Now after you've done this you can then do some underlining. So I'm going to give you an example as I go through. So here we're going to have a summary of chapter one or section one from Of Mice and Men and there it's a page and a half as you go through. So I'm going to present, uh, pretend and presume that I've actually gone through that for 15 minutes and then I've actually got a summarized or annotated version here. So I've picked out things that I think are important. So I think that part there is important, the feature of the men. I actually think the fact that they've done something before is actually very important. Um, the idea that Lenny excuse me, Lenny has uh, damaged small creatures before, I think that's important. They're in trouble because uh, Lenny's actually got them in trouble with a girl before, so that gives me an idea of something that's going to be a problem with a girl later on perhaps. And I've also got this quotation, live off the fat of the land because they share a dream, but also the fact that it makes them happy. So there I've actually gone through and completed the first section of my notes. Now obviously if I was doing that for time, that would the first part would have taken me about 15 minutes, maybe a little less, obviously depending on what it was, that was a short section, and then I've spent a couple of minutes just making sure that I've circled on the line. Now, now the circle and underlining is important because your brain is not a huge fan of text. Breaking things up with colors, with underlining, with circling, with bullet points is actually uh, more of a symbol or a different um, signifier to your brain than just block, block, block text. So your brain actually likes that because it's showing it something in a different format and it also tells your brain that it's something important and that's the key here. Um, in, things are important because you stress them again or stress them in different ways and that's why your brain actually um, learns and remembers stuff not just because you go over and over it again. Um, your brain might not actually be picking up that this is important because remember your brain and your mind separate things your brain is just this huge processor that's trying to process all the information in. So we take a three to five minute break there now although that seems a bit ridiculous to have a break after about 18 minutes work and some of your parents might, might not be very happy with this. Uh, the idea is there is that you're taking that and you're sifting with that part. Now in that three to five minute break, it's really important that you do not listen to music, that you do not watch a screen. So obviously they shouldn't watch these videos. And obviously, and also, sorry, that you don't have a heavy meal. The thing you should do is just go for a short kind of walk. Maybe just go up or down the stairs. Maybe just go out into the garden. Just take a breath, come back and have a conversation. Having a conversation on the phone is okay. But basically you want to change the frame of mind that you're actually in because now you're putting that stuff into your long-term memory because officially your long-term memory actually starts after 18 seconds you're trying to get that stuff into your long-term memory so you're distracting yourself with something else then you come back to your work and then what you want to do is you want to actually remake your notes and preferably these are going to be five to six brief summary points of no more than five to seven words so obviously you're going to think about them and you're going to write them depending on how many there are so again for my example here I've actually already done them so the notes I'm going to make on that uh, George and Lenny are very diff uh, physically different they travel together Lenny has got them in trouble before Lenny doesn't know his own strength. George is quick tempered but caring. George gives Lenny a backup plan and they share a dream or goal. So there's just like the little notes that I'm actually making that. Obviously that might take you less than 10 minutes but you do want to think about getting the best ones that you can. So now you've actually turned the information in this section here 
and you've actually reworked it. So you've made your brain be concise and actually pick out the main points out of the top part. So you've actually made your brain do two different activities. Now you've got a better chance of remembering it. Now this is where most people stop, but we're going to look to continue this a little further. Um, so the third section then, again, after a three to five minute break, where you go and do the same thing, is then go and, but remember, stick to the timings. If you don't stick to the timings, it, it, the, the pressure's off. And as you've already seen here, after you've underlined something, you'll actually see you've got a success, a piece of success already. You've done some underlining here you've got something as well you've already made some notes and you're building so now you're going to construct some questions to yourself of very difficulty okay and again this is only going to take 10 minutes so from your notes the stuff that you've actually got here and uh, obviously the stuff that you read here you construct for yourself 10 questions you don't actually have to answer them yet so they've got to be a very difficulty so here's another bunch of examples so my first question to myself what do the characters look like very easy what is Lenny compared to okay so that's picking some items out why does George get angry again I've got a very simple reason and you could go for a deeper reason on that where are they headed and why again a simple question what omens are there early on what signs are there okay that's a slightly harder question what kind of relationship do they have okay that's quite a harder question as well and how important is the dream they share now that is obviously really important so all of those things you can actually see uh, some of them high level questions some of them are low level questions and when I say low level here I'm thinking in terms of thought rather than actual great application but the idea is just to get you thinking around it now you've actually got your brain going with all this kind of information so you've actually stopped and looked at it from a different way you've made questions that you're actually going to be posing to someone going back then you've got your three to five minute break and then lastly you're going to come back and you make a powerpoint presentation or you write an essay on the work you're revising so you take one of your questions and you would make an essay on it or you actually make a powerpoint on the whole thing now the reason you're doing this is because with the powerpoint or the essay you're actually preparing the information to be given to someone else in your notes the notes section here where most people actually stop you've made something that makes sense to you and just you so basically you haven't actually properly formalized how to get the information across in an exam situation uh, now this isn't obviously just relevant for English this is relevant for every single subject that has any right involved whether it be a theory in science or an equation in, equation in math some grammar rules in French etc 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 you can work out how to do this the whole way I teach this to a lot of my psychology students my media students or RE students English students and they really really do benefit from it because it, it does apply to everything it's it's more the fact that people don't have a revision plan rather than it's um it's uh, something really uh, different it's just people haven't really been taught how to revise now when you make the PowerPoint presentation that skill there is the sharing of something or writing an essay always share that okay you might have a group of two or three friends who actually might pass these things um, pass these things to and obviously just swap it some of my psychology st students um, PowerPoints are actually so good I prefer to teach them teach with them sorry than the ones that we actually buy in from other places or the ones I'd make myself because they just try you know they work so hard on it and they try and make it so good and they remember it now to go back to those statistics that I was mentioning earlier why this is actually relevant the 5% excuse me the 5% one for reading notes after two weeks and there was 15% for actually making notes for do making questions and answering them apparently there's a 40% chance of actually remembering them. so if you do make your questions here and then you answer them obviously then you're getting your brain to think in that way and you've got a 40% chance to actually remember the item the stuff and the item in two weeks I think this research was done by Leeds University as best I remember if you'd like to look it up I uh, should really put a reference in but I'm hoping for now you'll trust me um, um, with regards to the PowerPoint presentation here at the bottom as well, the actual presenting something to someone it improves to your uh, chance of remembering within two weeks to 75 to 80 percent. So that's supposed to be the uh, obviously as, as high as as high as you can get out doing this. So if, you, if you're thinking of a topic and you've got an hour to spend on it, here's a really good way of actually spending an hour's structured revision. So the benefits over them again, there's four parts. So you're encouraging your brain to remember it in four different ways. Each time you're actually going through it, you've actually got um, success. Uh, sorry. Some, something tangible to look back on you've got your underlinings you've got the notes that you've actually made you've got the questions that you've actually made and then by the end of it you've got an essay or a PowerPoint presentation um, it's universal can be used in any subject and hopefully it will uh, improve some of your revision obviously this goes for all levels uh, GCSE A level etc 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 um, good luck with it